Hey guys, so in today's video I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be showing you how I cover the ball spots that's on the side and in the front of my hair. I got these from like wearing braids and locks and hair extensions and stuff. Right now I'm doing everything I can to grow them out. I'm using argan oil, coconut oil and everything. So in the meantime I'm going to be covering them up with this little technique. First, I'm going to take a little bit of coconut oil. I'm going to skip through this part really quickly because this is just me just doing my hair, fixing my hair. So I'm going to skim through this really quickly for you guys, fast forward it. But I'm just showing you guys how I just run that through my hair. I'm also going to show you guys how my ball spots look. This is how they look and they were worse than this. And they're growing back really nicely. But in the meantime, I just need to cover them up because my hair looks a lot healthier. Or everyone's hair looks a lot healthier when it's completely filled in. I'm taking a little bit of this curling pudding that I have. This step right here is not even necessary. But I like to do it because it softens my hair. If you have soft hair, then you don't need to worry about that. I pick my hair out. Of course, if you have, if you don't have natural hair, you don't have to worry about these steps. You can just take a regular comb a regular brush and just brush your hair up but me I have to go through the ropes because my hair is a lot thicker in the middle and my hair is so thin on the outside it's weird and then I'm just taking a little bit of water like I said earlier if your hair is not natural then you don't have to worry about this but for those of you who are natural this step is really important because it helps it does help you know to get your hair in one perfectly as opposed to trying to comb your hair and, and pop out more of your hair I insert this little clip here because I completely forgot to um, put that in before I started putting the gel on my hair. But the one that I use is the Eco Style. This is the one that works for me. A lot of people say that this gel doesn't work for them. It doesn't hold up their natural hair or it just doesn't work for them. But for me, it works. It holds my hair. Um, it makes my hair look a lot shiny and healthy. So that's why I like this one. And I'm just brushing it up, getting it really tight in one. And I like to keep combing it out because, you know, of course, with natural hair, your hair kind of hauls up a lot. So I'm just brushing it up, combing it up, and I'm going to take a hair tie and just wrap it around a couple of times. I like to do it three times because, I, of course, I don't want to pull on those edges again. So I like to do it twice or three times, and then I just use a brush and just brush it up. I try to not mess with the edges of my hair as much as possible, I, I mean, like putting it in one, like I like to give it a little bit of break and let it be a little free. I like putting my hair all the way up in one as well because I don't wanna pull my hair back, like back in one a lot and I used to do that so much and I feel as though that's why my hair kind of, it kind of added to the stress on the front of my hair. I'm taking a little bit of gel because I'm going to do like this little bun around thing that I do to my hair. And a lot of people have been asking me how I do this. But it's so easy because all I'm doing is just wrapping the hair around. And if you guys want to see a video on that, I can show you like a more detailed video. Like with me just kind of pinpointing only that bun. But it's really quick. It's really easy. And it doesn't take as much concentration like what I'm doing right now. It, you don't need to focus that hard in order to do it. So once I'm done wrapping my hair around, I just kind of tuck it in. Now I don't normally need a pin for this, but just to keep it safe, I just take a pin and kind of like stick it in there. Just so it doesn't move, wind, someone hit it, you know, just to be safe. Now the star of the show, I'm going to be taking a little bit of this OK and it's a colored edges. That's what, that's the name here. It's OK colored edges and this one is in black. And this is used for temporary color and it's a gray touch up. Now this is supposed to be used like a gray hair just to make it look of course like black and all that stuff but I use it just to fill in my bald spots. It doesn't say that you're supposed to use it for this but this is what I this is what I use it for. It says to use apply to edge of hair using fingertips and smooth. So basically the same thing. I fill in exactly where I need it and basically that's all in front of my hair. Like like I said earlier my hair was way worse than this. At the end, you will see a picture of how the difference of how it was like then and now, but my hair has grown out so much since then. And I will be showing you guys 
what I've been using in order to help it grow out, but it's taking so long. And that is why I'm still using this technique because I'm just impatient. And I'm just looking at my camera just to see if I'm filming because my camera was dying from the moment I started. From I started filming, my camera was dying. So I'm just filling in those edges and one side needs more than the other. Like looking straight ahead, my left side needs more than my right side. But sitting towards you guys, my right side needs more than my left. Does that make sense? Yeah. Anyway, I just confuse you guys. But anyway, the side that I did first needed more of the um, colored edges. So I just put a little bit more there than I do on the other side. So if you don't need it, of course, don't use it. I take a little bit, I take a brush, sorry. I take um, this toothbrush that I got from, I think this is Oral-B. Not saying that you need to use Oral-B brand brush, but I find that when I did use other brushes, it does not work like this one. This one is in soft. Now you can use whichever one that works best for you. Personally for me, I don't like a soft toothbrush, but it works really well on my um, the edges of my hair. This is a really good toothbrush for edges. I just want to point that out. And I kind of like slant my hair, if that makes, so, makes sense, like the JLo slant. Like I curve it a little bit because it makes my hair look a little bit more full. You see what I'm doing there? It makes my hair look a little bit more full when I do it that way, as opposed to just brushing it straight back. Understood? Like I'll do it on this side. You see me doing it there? Like I'm just like slanting it, as opposed to like um, just brushing my hair straight back with the toothbrush. And I'm sure I'll do it again. I'm taking a little bit more because like I said, this side do need more than the other. And I'm taking a little bit at a time because this stuff is black. It looks like, um, it looks similar to the way that it holds your hair. It's similar to edge control. If you ever used that before, but it's like, it's uber black. So that's why I take a little by little and I only use it where I need it. I'm taking this eyeshadow here. You can take any eyeshadow that you want and just fill in where I put that, um, where I put that colored edges. Now, what I wanted to mention is that, of course, this colored edges comes in many different colors. You don't just have to get black. You can get brown. You can get. They, I think they even have blue. You can look it up and see what all colors that they have. But they have black. They have brown. They have any color that you your hair is blonde. It does not matter. It comes in those colors. And. I'm just setting the colored edges because I don't want it to look so greasy. Like when you have like edge control in your hair, you can see the grease of where it was. So I'm just kind of setting that a little bit with a little bit of black eyeshadow. And of course, in the meantime, it's just filling out those little ball spots even more by it being a little bit darker. Now my natural hair is black, but I do dye my hair to get to, to keep it kind of like, like a shiny black. Yeah. So, cause it kind of looks dusty sometimes. So what I'm doing is just, cause my hair is recently dyed. I'm just taking that and I'm using the black eyeshadow and make it kind of blend all in one. Now, because I don't want it to look harsh, I'm taking the toothbrush again and just kind of brushing that up into the bun. Taking some of my baby hairs and just kind of making my hair look like it, make it look more natural. And if you don't have um, like, baby hairs in front of course that's not even necessary I know sometimes my hair do kind of fall down like the shorter hairs do kind of fall down and they look messy unless I brush them or fix them in a certain way so that's why I'm doing this now but this step of course is not necessary This is how my hair turned out. It looks really nice. It looks like it's my own hair, right? So that's what I was trying to achieve. I do hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye you guys, have a great day.